At Plank Road, I'm going to turn off and I'll wave you on. I think this is day 18 for Tom. He stopped by the day before St. Patty's Day because there was a meetup with Red and White Rebel. And that ended up being a little bit of a mix-up if you followed my previous videos. Which, by the way, I did get that situation taken care of with Metra. I got a call from Victor Flores, the general manager and an apology, and he sent me two passes. Which, probably as often I use the train, I probably won't even end up using them. I think they're probably only good for the month of April, but it's just the principle of the thing. So anyway, right now, I'm getting him let out of town and pointed the right direction, because some of these roads kind of come together and go off in screwy directions and change from other roads to other names. So what I'm going to do is take him out to Route 47, point him south. That way he stays out of all the Chicago traffic. Stays on some nice country roads. And has a nice little leisurely ride down to Indianapolis. That's my favorite way too to go Route 47 and cut down to 24. That way you cross the Indiana state line and you come into Remington, Indiana. And then just a little ways from Remington, Indiana, you jump on 65. Head on down to Indianapolis. Sure, it takes about an hour and a half, maybe even two hours longer sometimes, but I'd rather enjoy a nice leisurely cruise that spend the first hour and a half of my time in Chicagoland traffic. End up being all stressed out. To me, half of the fun of the trip is a nice, leisurely, relaxing ride without a lot of stress. But we got a lot accomplished, I mean, it actually was a good thing for me in a way that Tom stayed extra because my project that I was going to do when he left was clean out my garage, which last time I did that was never. So with his help, I think I got rid of about a third of the contents of my garage that were just nothing but pieces of scrap and junk anyway. Um, got enough piles of Copper, brass, steel, and uh, yeah, that's it. Copper, brass, and steel. Probably, I don't know, maybe 55 bucks worth at the scrapper. And the main thing is, I have a lot more room to work now when I work on a project. For the first time in years, my steel workbench is actually clear. And I even have a few places to put stuff with nothing to put in them and that's that's not a bad thing that's a good thing I think it's always good to have three or four partial shelf spaces ready if you pick up extra tools or something like that in the future because I was running around I was uh, running out of flat surfaces to even store stuff so that worked out nice And I drug down some of my old propane cylinders, took them in and got them refilled. I still have two more to go, but now that I sorted through the stuff, I was able to uh, get everything in the right place. That's the one thing about having a cluttered garage. Even when you have everything, and even when you know where it is, which half the time I don't, and end up having to buy stuff, but even when you know where it is, you kind of hate getting to it because there's so much junk piled in the way. Well, one of the things I did was I organized so that everything I know I'm going to use fairly often is within easy reach. 
the stuff that's back out of the way and a little bit harder to reach is stuff I haven't even touched in years and probably won't touch in another few years. And there's way less of that stuff because I looked at a lot of things. When I'm throwing out things, I'm thinking, uh, hey, this is a project I was going to do. Well, it's a project I was going to do five years ago and I still haven't gotten around to it. Guess what? Five more years, I still won't get around to it. So a lot of those five year plus projects ended up in the trash. So anyway, I thought I would just give you guys an update of what's going on and uh, let you know April, today's April 4th, Thursday, and hopefully at least one of those two I got correct. As you guys have pointed out before, I uh, when you're retired, you tend to either get the day of the week wrong or the date wrong, because you don't really have to watch your calendar that much, but... As of what I think is Thursday, April 4th, Tom is on his way. So the next video or two you see out of him will probably be him and BC together working on some projects. We discussed a few of them, so I think he's at least got two or three in his head. and uh, Maybe we'll see at least a couple of them get done. BC is a pretty good fabricator. So that's about it guys, take care, talk to you later.